I have often used or referred to William Cooper's work and Rick Clay's work, who repeatedly stressed the idea that there would be a fake alien invasion as the final revelation. I believe that this will be the final deception and the biggest single event that will kill faith. Is there biblical ev evidence that such a hoax may be perpetrated upon mankind? <clears throat> yes. Now, I've already done a series on Do Aliens Exist that shows the idea of an alien spacecraft getting here is just bad science. And I've repeatedly shown that the moon landings were fake and that we cannot travel through the Van Allen belt. There are a lot of theories out there about aliens and Anunnaki or reptilians, and these are being put forth by people like David Ick. This guy is full of it, and you should wonder why this man is even given media play. If he was anywhere close to the truth about aliens, do you really think he wouldn't have been silenced instead of featured in mainstream movies like Religulous with Bill Maher? First off, Bill Maher is a staunch Zionist, and I watched him on Larry King the other night for a whole 10 minutes before he trashed Christianity over and over again, and I turned the television program off. Also, look at your television sets. The idea of ancient aliens and aliens is being stressed non-stop. They are pushing this and ghosts, which are just fallen angels playing mind tricks, non-stop. There is no biblical basis for ghosts, absolutely none. Remember what Jesus said, Call no man father, no man rabbi, and no man teacher, except your father in heaven and your teacher Jesus. If there were ghosts, good or bad, don't you think Jesus would have said something about it? Instead, he warned us of fallen angels deceiving us, which I will go into later. The Catholic Church is actually practicing a form of necromancy by invocating saints, and other religions claim their leadership is communicating directly with God. You should be wary of anyone who claims these things. If you're going to claim a belief in something, show it from the Bible. If you can't, then you should question that belief and that it may be wrong. The only thing getting in the way of the truth is pride and that you may have been misled. I myself was misled for a very long time. I didn't even believe in God. When in doubt, ask the Bible. Now the whole idea about the Anunnaki stems from Babylon. This is why false religion is called Babylon the Great in the Bible. This all comes from Babylon. Even the Kabbalah Sephirot, which is called the Tree of Life, was in Babylon before Egypt. The Egyptians had this Tree of Life knowledge in the form of the Scarab Beetle. The story of Gilgamesh validates the Flood, but they have put their own spin on it just like the Talmud has put its own spin on the Bible. Now the story goes that supposedly advanced aliens visited Babylon and gave them knowledge and people believe that these aliens may be manipulated monkeys and made us. Ziggurats or pyramids are found in Babylonian culture before anywhere else. People try to prove this alien theory by saying that the Babylonians had knowledge that was impossible for people to know. I have heard the same thing said about the Mayans. Now this theory is all well and good until you actually put science behind it. Any alien who could get here and manipulate the fabric of space would not need a spaceship. They would be a god. They use sculptures like this one to show that there may have been aliens in the past that lived with the Babylonians. Now I have no doubt that someone was influencing the Babylonians, but I believe that they were fallen angels. I also know that there wasn't a whole lot to do at night except stare at the stars in what would have been very clear skies compared to what we see now. Now who are these illumined ones attacking? Are they attacking people who talk about aliens? No. They put these people on the History and Discovery Channel. How about people who talk about Jesus and pacifism? These people are called non-patriots and accused of not supporting the troops, and they attack Jesus constantly through their art, which I went into at the end of my Illuminati Proof series, Part 4. Statues, Broadway plays, movies, these people hate Jesus. They don't hate people who spread tales of aliens. Is it possible that the fallen angels pretended to be something that they weren't 
to the Babylonians. We have this scripture in Revelation chapter 16, verses 13 through 14. By the way, I usually use the NIV version of the Bible in my quotes because I like it the most. It's the most readable. But I like to look at different versions when I have a question about something. I love BibleGateway.com for this reason. Now, these verses read, Then I saw three evil spirits that looked like frogs. The Greek word here for frog, according to Strong's, actually means frog. They came out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. They are spirits of demons, performing miraculous signs, and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God Almighty. In every translation I looked at, it has always looked like frogs or disguised as frogs, but their true identity is revealed. They are fallen angels impersonating something frog-like. Now when we look back at our sculpture from Babylon, what does this thing's head look like to you? It looks very frog-like. Now don't you think this is one heck of a coincidence? Add to this we have shows like V, which is just a remake of the old show V, with reptilians predating all this Anunnaki talk. Are we being set up for something? I truly believe so. I would remind people that we have already had a fake alien invasion by Orson Welles. It was read that it was fake at the start of the presentation, but people were so scared that they were literally shooting their guns in the sky thinking aliens were attacking the United States. This was before things like HARP and Project Bluebeam and our hidden government programs who have only been brought to light very rarely, like the Avro car. My Does Aliens Exist series goes into more detail about all these man-made UFOs that we have developed going back to Germany. Now along with these fallen angels impersonating things that look like frogs, we have a warning at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. It reads, The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with the work of Satan displayed in all kinds of counterfeit miracles, signs, and wonders, and in every sort of evil that deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie, and so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth but have delighted in wickedness. So we are going to be in for one hell of a counterfeit miracle here. Our faith and science, which shows the truth behind the hoax that is alien spacecraft, is our protection. Just like knowing that Jesus will not be reincarnated in a man, nor possess a man. Jesus said many would claim to be the Christ. I think that the last Antichrist, the true Antichrist, is going to be Prince William, but I could be wrong. Everything seems to be pointing to him. But even if it isn't him, we are protected. I think that the false alien invasion will be so devastating that they don't care if we know who the Antichrist is. If anyone has any other scriptures to point to us, please message me with them or use anything I have presented and make your own videos about this. There is one last thing I would like to address, and this is the idea that I've seen on television, that Noah's Ark was an alien spaceship with all the animals in the world, DNA located on it. I have a very simple rebuttal for this. Many animal types from species died at around the same time in a cataclysmic event. Those animals are simply gone. Along with this, Noah took kinds of animals on the Ark, even large species have small babies. All you have to do is look at the wolf and see the thousands of dog breeds that look nothing like a wolf, but they are still the same species. These breeds all came from the same animal, and it didn't take millions of years for this to happen. New breeds come out all the time.